Hi, I'm Lily and welcome back to the Florida Native Plant Society's Terminology Tuesday. Last week we talked about herbaceous plants and how they're grouped according to their life cycles, annuals, perennials, and biennials. This week we're going to talk about woody trees and shrubs and how they're grouped according to their types of foliage. Let's get started. So I am admiring the foliage, which just is the collective term for the leaves of a plant, the foliage of Caria tomentosa. This is mockernut hickory. And hickories are deciduous trees. Deciduous translates to to fall off. And that just means that these deciduous trees lose their leaves in the fall. And so they have bare branches in the winter and then in the spring they push out fresh new leaves each year. Here's another deciduous tree. This is sweet gum, liquid ambar styracifolia. And as you can see with deciduous trees, they create these fall leaves, create a nice, wonderful leaf mulch, which breaks down and becomes essential habitat for wildlife and feeds the soil. And it's important when you're planting things in your yard to consider that deciduous trees will be bare in the winter and so the areas under deciduous trees would have more sunlight in the winter. So in contrast to deciduous trees, evergreen trees like this spruce pine right here next to me, Pinus glabra, are evergreen. They keep their leaves, or in this case needles, all year round. So unless this tree were dead or dying or very sickly, you're never going to see it lacking, completely lacking needles. It remains green year round. So again, this Caryotomentosa, the mockernut hickory, is a deciduous tree that loses its leaves in the fall. And they're often commonly referred to as broadleaf trees because they have broad leaves in comparison to conifers that are often evergreen, like those spruce pine behind us. However, not all broadleaf trees are deciduous. For example, our beautiful Magnolia grandiflora, the southern magnolia, is an example of a broadleaf tree, a hardwood tree that is evergreen. It keeps its big, thick, glossy leaves year round. There are also some conifer trees, trees with needle-like foliage, that are deciduous. So most of our, our pines and needle uh, producing trees are usually evergreen, but we also have native cypress, taxodium species, that actually lose their needles in the fall. They turn a beautiful yellowy color and they're bare all winter. And then we have in-betweens, like many of our oak species. So further north in the US, the oaks are often considered deciduous because of the life cycles in those habitats and climates. But here in Florida, many of our oak species, because we are a uh, much warmer climate, we don't have as harsh winters, our oak species are considered semi-evergreen because while they'll keep their um, leaves up almost year round, at certain times of year, they will flush out new foliage while they push off all of their old dead leaves. So they'll be pushing out new foliage right as they are completely sloughing off all their old foliage. So often you'll see maybe a week or two where a oak will be completely bare, but it will flush back out really quickly. And so we call these semi evergreen trees. Okay, to sum up our terminology for today, we have evergreen trees, which keep their leaves or needles year round. So they're evergreen. And then we have deciduous trees, which lose their leaves in the fall and then put out new fresh leaves each spring. And then in between, we have the semi evergreens like this Quercus nigra up here behind me, the water oak. And they push out their fresh new leaves right as they are dropping all of their old leaves. So they're temporarily leafless for a week to two weeks max. So those are our terms for today and I will see you again next Tuesday.